All right, so I got the new HO scale BLMA models, Carrier X2 reefer unit. Uh, I've been waiting for these. I got a couple of trailers I want to install these on. So I'll install them on a, on a trailer and we'll go down to the layout and see what's new. All right, so there it is installed on the model. Uh, one thing now that it is on the model I noticed is the color of it. It doesn't match the white that my trailer has painted. Uh, it doesn't match the white of the prototype. Uh, the units that are on the BLMA uh, reefer, uh, reefer cars, it looks like those ones are painted because they match the model. But this aftermarket part doesn't look like they painted it at all. It looks like they left it the molded color that it came uh, when they made it, the plastic. Um, if this is a big deal, you could always mask it all off and paint it uh, like a flat white. The prototypes are a flat white. They're not shiny like Dermo King models. It's like they're made out of some kind of composite material, but uh, it's not really a big deal. I might mask it all off and paint it white. I'm not sure, but the details are are pretty good on it. You can see the control unit there. It looks like it has a LED, um, an LCD screen, and then all the service panels, the latches are represented. Um, other than the color, this is an excellent model. Uh, even the top is they've done a pretty good job. You can see down into the exhaust port. Let's see if I can get it to focus there so you can see it. You see the muffler in, a, in the exhaust pipe. But I've been waiting for this model and uh, I got a couple of trailers I want to put these on. Um, they're pretty good. I love like these and the Thermal King units. Uh, one thing, I didn't attach it, so I'll take it off here. There's five lugs. There's no uh, mounting template uh, included with the packaging, so you have to measure it all out and drill holes. You can see the holes there in the trailer header, and then it'll just right. It'll install. I didn't glue it because I wasn't sure if I'm gonna uh, paint it, and then I used uh, some real fine wire to to uh, represent the drip hoses. When the reefer's running it gets condensation and it um, instead of just collecting in a pan like your home refrigerator it just drips right out the front there through those little hoses. So uh, in this trailer I made I use a uh, Walters Undecorated. It's a 48 footer. I wanted to represent the um, ones I see in on the trains. I don't know who owns them but they're white and uh, they have roll-up doors. There we go. They have roll-up doors. So there's some kind of door-to-door -door service. I used A-Line's roll-up doors there. And then I made my own mud flaps and then the super singles, the Herpa super singles. And then I used an A-Line fuel kit, fuel tank. And then the major spotting feature on utility trailers, because this is a replica. Uh, representing a utility trailer, a new one. Uh, you can always tell a utility trailer by the landing gear. So I use A-Line's utility landing gear. I think this model is coming out pretty good. And then I did all the safety striping. So let's go see what's going on with the rest of the layout. Alright, so there it is with the unit uh, back installed. I went ahead and masked all the little service hatches and the control panel, the grills, and I airbrushed it with a reefer white, a flat, uh, it was testers, a reefer white, and uh, it looks a little better than the uh, original model, the color of it. So I'll show you what I've been doing here at the layout. And I added these, uh, see if you can see them here, yard lights by Details West. Uh, they don't actually work. But uh, here on my layout, it's always sunny. I don't do any night operations, so it didn't really matter to me. And then I scratch build uh, uh, surveillance cameras. If you can see it there. Get the camera to focus. Here's all the yard trailer or yard tractors. And then we'll go down all the trailers. My layout is a uh, modules. 
So I've been working on one module at a time and I got all the track ballasted and a little bit of the scenery down. Next thing left to do is just to detail it and uh, you know add more uh, freight cars and trailers. There's the other side, there's another yard light, details west, uh, some scratch built surveillance cameras. Like all modern uh, rail facilities, high security. So I thought I'd replicate that way, having those uh, security cameras. So here's my next module I'm working on. It's a corner mod. And uh, well, my, my son, he likes to play with his Hot Wheels on here while I'm, while I'm working. Uh, this is the next one I'm going to do. You can see I started putting a little bit of ballast. And uh, this will be completed within the next week or two. And I'll just keep going around. And then on the other side here, I have the bench work from my other, my older layout. I was able to salvage it, and I made a module out of that one. That'll be another to continue the uh, the intermodal yard. Looks good so far. I'm happy with it. Oh, uh, there's the CR England unit I had. In the uh, previous video I uploaded, I added the uh, uh, BLMA Thermo King unit there, and then the drip hoses again. Uh, that one came out pretty good, and then uh, I had a custom painted Werner, and then here's my newest one. This one I didn't really do too much to. It is a uh, Athern. It's a pre-painted model. The uh, only thing I did was add the BLMA reefer, and then I made the skirts, and then the uh, Herpa Super Singles. So that's about it. Just uh, weathering some of the ballast to kind of make it look used, and um, keep you guys updated. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.